Foundation remembers all the lives lost at that nightclub with vigils happening across the country, including one right here in Charleston. News 2's Travis Rice was there and has more on what happened tonight. Travis. Hey, good evening, Brendan and Carolyn. Charleston is among an uncoveted list that perhaps knows what Orlando is going through best. The holy city standing for Orlando. More than 1,000 gathered inside the Charleston bus depot for what happened over the weekend. The bar is normally the first place that people go out, and it needs to be a place where people are free. I'm still very shaken. Reverend Robert Arrington says his husband didn't want him to preach Sunday. What was Sunday morning like for you? Somber. Um, everyone is concerned, um, especially when you have an open gay church and you don't know if anybody's going to bust in and try to kill you. I'm tired of hatred. I'm tired of hatred. Mayor John Tecklenburg expressing his exhaustion with violence the city knows too well. We will not let a sick, singular act of evil overwhelm our abiding sense of love. My partner's cousin lives in Orlando and she has multiple friends that were victims. Orlando's events too close for Trevor Donovan and his partner. They've been to the nightclub where it all happened. This night, he says, is about everyone's love. We're a wall that can't be knocked down. We're, um, we're a force that can't be reckoned with and we're not going to back down. Um, we're going to still show up in numbers and have no fear. There will also be two more vigils for Orlando this week, one in Goose Creek tomorrow and another in Somerville Wednesday. Reporting in studio, Travis Rice, News 2.